Alright. So we got... Bro, Looney is... I think I'm older than Looney. How old is Looney? Looney? Looney's my age. So he's your age. Yeah, so we're like, we're at the same age. Y'all are, y'all are like, late 28? Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm about to be 28 in like... 20 days. So. Yeah. Yeah, I have four more months left before I turn 20. <laughs> Alright, so Mouse Rat vs. Pokelam. Pokelam adopting the Ski, or not the Ski, the Alex this time. Oh yeah, yo Looney, play me in third strike, pussy. Um, okay. Uh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh uh, yeah, we got him. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> We got a fucking line with this thief. Um. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is Pokey Lamb. I like how, I like how he did that, though. Um. I like how he did that, like that was a true combo. He went, he went uh, jab down to one shield, like that was a true block pick. Yeah. Look at that. Up here. The Pokemon's on the winner's side, right? Yeah. Correct. I'm putting, uh, I'm gonna put, uh, Alex, uh, in the top eight image. No villager at all. It's gonna be just all Alex. That's how you generate views. Max CPM over here. Oh yeah, and as, if Pokemon is going for a lot of these up smashes, even though it's laggy, um, the punish Pikachu on that agility would be worthwhile. It, uh, oh, Di? No. Don't Third? do that. He also has Diamond on him, so that's gonna be scary. You know, I gotta say, that Uppy is a little bit nostalgic for me, because it reminds me of uh, oh, the oh, days where you used oh, to be able to fly. Oh, oh yeah, that is all true, except for that last one, but that 50, up to 59% was 100% true. How much percent was this? That must have been... That was... Uh... Okay, that was 0 to 76, and then a forward smash for That's oh. diamond. That's a diamond sword and pickaxe. What a stupid victory. That's absolutely insane. Animation. I gotta look at some of this frame data on Steve's part. That was like yeah, I actually, I what actually was don't that? know any Steve. That was just forward that was smash. Diamond forward smash. Yep, yeah. there's the sword. Get out of here. Swan like a fly. Jab is frame four. Gosh darn. Is frame six. Yeah, I don't know. I need to. I don't know any frame data because like I haven't played against a character like that. So, it usually takes me to lose against a character to look up frame. So, <laughs> <laughs> fair. <laughs> um. So let's see. Diamond is negative 17. <gasps> gold is actually less negative on shield. It's negative 15 for gold. Insane. Yeah, well, gold is like everything's faster. <laughs> oh. We got his crack. <laughs> Bro. Down tilt is. Pokemon SD. Mousetrad didn't even take a stock. Oh, did Pokemon SD? Yeah, look here. Yeah, the here, upbeat. this one. He just goes, uh. We then hits the head. Dip. Can't believe down tilt is plus five. It's insane. Three, two, one, go! So the one thing about mining is that mining is pretty much lagless. Is it? Yeah, pretty much. Like, they mine and then they just start pressing buttons. I kind of feel like it isn't. Like, there's like, there's definitely cooldown to mining. I think I might be talking out my ass. You might be right. I don't, I don't know. know, man. Cause they be doing. You know what? I, mean, I believe you. I I really got no basis to talk on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, me neither. I don't. I don't know frame data. I just said I. Didn't. <laughs>
Wait, wait, which move were you uh, fucking just, into? Just mining. Mining. Oh, mining? That's Yo, like the one thing I don't like, know. Glide angle? What? Yeah, so as I was saying before, I actually kind of like the up because it reminds me of the old Brawl days when you used to be able to glide. It really, it like, every me. people who make that comparison, I, I don't understand it. Uh, it doesn't act like Brawl Glide at all. You think so? I think it does. I Are you serious? That it SD, does. that Glide SD wouldn't have been an SD in Brawl. Absolutely not. Yeah. Yes, it would have. No, I it wouldn't have. The... Okay, this just means you don't know how Glide works. I do. I was... Uh, I played the game. But it's <laughs> an exception. Let's say this. Or... It's reminiscent of it, but it doesn't act like Yeah, it. because like falling down from that sort of height in the previous game, you would have been able to make make it all the way back. Like, well, well, gliding sure, was but that's OD. Like, but that's like Meta Knight with... All of their glides did that. I could do it with Zard. Maybe not Zard. Zard was actually very bad. You didn't even use a character in Brawl that glide. I used the character I played Pokemon that Trainer as a secondary. I don't want to hear your shit. <laughs> That's a secondary. Conversation. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm arguing with a nine-year-old. Please save me. Nineteen, mate. <laughs> <gasps> oh, he tried to get for it. I thought he was gonna drag him into that TNT. <laughs> yeah, he was going for it. So yeah, it's not the exact same. But yeah, like do you see, do you see how lagless that is? I actually yeah, wasn't paying attention, lagless. but yeah. Um, but yeah, right now, uh, thanks for the follow, SDI and Art. Hey. Thanks. It's funny, um, Mouse Rider has definitely played a more defensive game, and just has been T-jolting in whiff punishing for, like, the better half of this, um, first game. I mean, the second game, excuse me. He did it! Oh my god, he finally did it. He finally did it down there, because I was asking about that before. Yeah. Oh I think God. last time he did like a buffered back here by accident, but this time he manages to nail that CI mix up. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh, you, oh, messed it up. That was the zero to seventy combo. Oh, so much damage in so little time. Diamond pickaxe sword out of control. Okay. Ooh. Could drag him back to the stage. Mm -hmm. He to throw him off once again. Got, got a hard landing on that jet. Yeah, now sure just hanging back. Cause like the more shenanigans that you interact with, uh, Steve with, like the more damage you're gonna take. He's definitely one of those characters. Kind of like Pac-Man in a way. Like, the more you directly in interact with the carnival trick, the more, like, you interact with it. So, that right there, the drag down near down smash, I think I talked about it earlier. That's an extremely good kill confirm for Pikachu. So, I'm glad he's actually finally doing it, because it's... It works at pretty reasonable percents. Like, I think it was at, like, 100? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And it looked like Pokemon was trying to SDI also. So, it's... One of the better ones. Oh. Oh, he did it twice. He did the DI mix-up twice. So oh, I, I missed it. I must have missed it the first time. But I definitely would have. Spammed it. Wow. <laughs> that was hilarious. What man. a boss. I'm a, I'm a, I want to look at that again. Just... He was just like, what did you do to me? Now die. He was like, chill, bro. I'm just a, I'm just, I'm just a land surveyor. Alex literally was looking at Pikachu being like, don't tase me, bro. He Wait, went, do it in the quick. Oh, sure. <laughs> he was just standing there and then dead ass. He was just like, don't tase me, bro. <laughs> 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 
laugh at that every time. Okay. God voice to me is still top tier. Yeah, oh, going wow. back to Yeah. Ooh, that was a great reversal. I got the trip turn up in that situation. I'm so sorry. Oh, that that's there's a one shot on that tree. Oh, that Damn, fuck my Mario. You have to a good start. Even though Pikachu can edge guard villager pretty um Villager does have a very strong person too. When it comes to learning on stuff like the down air, right? Um even Lloyd Rocket just fall can mess up. Can stall him a little bit just like stuff like that, like avoiding Pikachu over there. Is this a Dragon Ball Z world map music? Oh, dude, we have all the tunes, dude. This is also from Boo's Fury, yes. Let's go! <laughs> information is so good. Or my intel is so good. Yeah, Man, so play Pokemon actually nice. threw out that, um... He threw out that pocket, so he either wouldn't get hit by the Thunder, or the Thunder, and it also gets a pocket. So... Yeah, either way, he was trying to go for a uh, read that one. He tries to get the axe. I think. I think he tried to fall through the platform, but he kind of got stuck on it and was able to get the get the axe. Out. That, that, that that lone backer. Tech Pokemon. He's going to the other side. Oh, yeah. I'm actually surprised he's going to the other side. Right. Trying to keep the edge guard going. I'll play him just fighting him up. Ooh, that's a nice kill. Yeah, when Pokemon does that actually, um, if you, you can go to try and trade with that, but if you mess that up, you're taking big damage. I think that's like it. Especially in a situation where you're up. God from Florida mid Yeah, what, like I said before, I just find it bizarre because. He had a nice kill confirm pre in the previous game. He had like down throw mix up into thunder, near down smash, and then all of a sudden he's put in this scenario where he's dealing with a character at like 200 plus. And it's like, why not just end him? I think a lot of that has to come from taking the risk and kind of just shooting your shot, you know? Just knowing like, okay, if I don't guarantee this kill for off of this forward air, or off of this down smash, let me at least put them in a state of disadvantage so I can somehow secure it. That's kind of how I evaluate uh, the kill percents. Yeah, and I think the real problem right now is that now House Rat, unlike fighting against uh, Alex, is at a real disadvantage when it comes to trying to punch and pick out all three. Because two times already, now House Rat has actually died for going for an edge card. Oh, he actually took two stocks for an edge card, so like right now, no, he's on a way to like save it. Right up, folks. It's, I think it comes from the ground game and the neutral. Game. So in Pokemon, like, keep away game is like pretty good. It comes with throwing out a lot, like throwing out tree. Hmm. Ooh. Ooh. Caught the Pokemon in the net. 
Ja. Yeah. You know what's funny about that? Uh, I think the tree actually messed up his agility trajectory. Hmm. Or at least that's what it looked like. Yeah, definitely looks like that on my end as well. Yeah, getting reverse edge guarded twice sucks to suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, Devin, uh, does Mousefry and Pokelam have their uh, subs yet? Because they're top three. Uh, Pokalam does, uh, Mousetrap doesn't. I'll tell him to put a chat message so you can give it to him. Yeah. Okay, yeah, Pokalam tried to knock Mousetrap off of that ledge in the air to get a 4 air follow up, but it didn't happen. Pretty sure this is 2 1. Yes. Yeah, okay. Bring it back to battlefields. Um, yeah, I think I like how Mouse Rat's approaching it this time, just staying on the platform, just, just letting Pokelam do the approach instead of always approaching himself. And also not jumping as much, because if you jump too much, Villager kind of benefits off of that. Mm -hmm. So, like, whenever he does jump, he always goes for the jolt to keep safe. Um, I, I mean, honestly, I think it comes from. It really comes from the neutral part. Because in in neutral, like I know Pokemon's playing keep away game, but I feel like Mousefred hasn't really been able to impose his presence on Pokemon much at all. It comes to like, neutral or in stage like um, that's what's been taking so long to get stocked because Pokemon's actually keeping space and Mousefred's kind of just chasing it. Yeah. Oh, that's a jab. Oh, oh. The most brutal beating I've ever seen from a Pokemon. The dude just got punched to death. Down smash? Yeah. And he killed the tree, so the axe also goes away. Get it yet? The Pokemon's in a, uh, I mean, but uh, Mousetrap's in a much better position than he was in the third game. Yeah, most definitely. At this point, he could just get a grab and, ooh, never mind, take some dash attack. Yeah, as long as, long as he's outpaced the first time in this capacity, which makes Pokemon approach you as Pikachu, this is a much more favorable position for you to be in. Because an area of your village are less trouble than the place. True. Managed to break out. Mm -hmm. Wasn't it wasn't a true follow-up. That hurt. Did that tree extend it? Yeah, it looked like the thunder lingered, uh, lingered a little bit longer than it should have. Probably the tree extending it. Yeah, that's crazy good. I mean, that's that's a good situation to learn. It's my master because he went for it twice. Yeah, it was really good. Oh. Want to get the guaranteed punish? I guess. Yeah. There's a tipper for back in that situation. Could have killed. Wow, that's that was crazy fancy coming off the mouse right there. That was a 
<laughs> yeah, that'll definitely be in the next one. No, we're basically coming out from the other one. Keeping him off stage. That's what I like about Mouse Ride. It's like even though he's not necessarily getting the edge guard kill, um, he keeps Pokelam in a state of disadvantage that makes him keep receiving percent. Like he keeps getting knocked away with fairs, he keeps getting thrown off stage, he keeps having to tech all the time, and that just allows Mouse Ride to garner up all this percent. Yeah, like 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 you said, it's um, it's all about positioning, and right now Mashra is positioning positioning himself in a way it's very hard for Pokemon to really get a lot of reason. Unless he steals a stop there. <laughs> the the F Smash is definitely looking a lot more intimidating now than this Oh, throw? Yeah, that's it. Good grab. Yeah, I mean, in that situation with the back turn like that, Pokemon was just scared of like a back or a shield, or even jumping from Legend that situation with Mouse Rite's back turn, you're just like, okay, I need a roll, I need to do something. Mm -hmm. And I feel like in general, as Pikachu, if you're conditioning people into shielding because you're putting out dash attacks, you're putting out Thunder Bolt, you're putting out all these different attacks, you might as well just go for that grab up throw. Like, up throw, it's not the greatest kill throw, but it at least does the job when you need it to, especially when you have Rage yourself. And so that was a really good grab from the game from Mouse Rat. Um, now we're at game five, so it's excellent. Yeah, game five, uh, Mouse Rat can reset or Pokemon can just win and we could um, all go to sleep. There might be a reset here. Ready? Okay, let's see if we're gonna go to a different stage. Three, two, one, oh. go! Okay. Uh, what do you think about this bit? It's, it's hard to say. Um, I would imagine that Thunder Hill 3 is harder to deal with because it covers the wall. I suppose Pokelam wants to mix up on recoveries more because previously he was just stuck in that state of disadvantage. And so he wants to probably mix up his recoveries better so that way he doesn't have to deal with that. That's what I'm thinking. <laughs> um, I guess the slams could throw Pikachu off, but I I'm not sure how. I mean, I'm also thinking maybe a little bit earlier kills. Maybe. True, true. Okay. Nice little string there, up there into the back here. Yeah, Pokemon is mashing a lot of this, mashing down, trying to a lot of disadvantage. Um, so, Mouser needs to be wary of overextending. Because I feel like if you overextend one time, you're gonna get hit with a trip turn up like that. Uh, so let's see what happens. I'm getting hit by that turn up. They're on jab. Doing the F throw, send him off. Yeah, good read. Yeah, just like I was saying before, the Pokemon was matching a lot of disadvantage. And Mashard actually read that match and tried to go for a Thunder Read. Didn't get it, but I respect it. 
Oh, he fell out of the border. Oh no. <gasps> oh, he disappeared. <laughs> I, I don't blame Pokéland for missing the DI in tech there, that just came out of nowhere. I don't think he had a chance to DI in, like, he was, he, he was gone so fast, like... Mm. That is true. Unless he has Wizrobe SDI, which I don't think he'd do that. Oh, <laughs> Wizrobe SDI. Wizrobe's SDI is... something else. Alright, nice, nice up smash off the top black, getting that kill. Yeah, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Give me the last stop for most of it. Last tournament stop. Man, I'm at the summit. That full raider. Repression with the axe. Misses. Actually, just barely misses cutting the tree as it disappears. To the edge. You know, um, if Mazar can get this stock before like sub 100%, I think we'll be here. But right now, Pokemon look like he's poised to not do anything. Just stand there like Mazar put. He's getting a little desperate with these F smashes. Yeah, I think it's gonna be like 10. Because I think it's like at least 10 more percent until that up there after check going up. Uh, but uh, we don't need to worry about that because Pokemon got another trip. Whew. That sure was a set. was uh quite a long tournament. Yeah, I'm actually sitting here trying to take the whole tournament. But... Okay. Never gonna do this again. I, I never will again, dude. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'll see you next week, Bars. What is that? I'll see you next week. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Not for the whole tournament. I didn't say you wouldn't come to Nah, this one particularly ran late because uh, that half of losers got lagged behind. We literally lost like probably an hour and a half. Plus lag test. Yeah, that's not good. Whoa. Huh? All right. Well, congrats to Poke Lamb. Uh, I probably. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I definitely not gonna come back with you.